Today, I'm gonna be reviewing a beer can. Okay, okay, it's not really a beer can, it's a camera lens made by Minota that resembles a beer can. And if you ask any photographer from the 80s or 90s about Minota, their response would most likely be... Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. But I digress. Released in 1985 and made for Sony A-mount cameras, this lens has a focal length of 70 to 210 mm and a constant aperture of f4. Like most lenses made during that time, this lens is almost made entirely out of metal and glass. It weighs almost 700 grams and might be considered heavy for some photographers. The zoom ring is thick and grooved, which is great. The focus ring, however, not so much. First of all, you have all this space here. So why would the lens designers place the focus ring all the way over here at the tip? And why make it so thin? This has got to be the thinnest focus ring I've ever seen. My guess is, since Minota is best known for making the world's first integrated camera autofocusing system, they probably thought that autofocusing is the future and that no one would use manual focus ever again. But enough talk about physical appearances. Let's take a look at image quality. For this review, I've adapted this Minota 70-210mm f4 lens to my A7S with the LAEA4 adapter. So, first thing I notice about the image quality is the color fringing. It's all over the image, even in the center. It's very subtle, but if you look close enough, you will definitely see it, especially in high contrast shots. From a creative perspective, I don't find the fringing to be an issue. I think it adds a certain vintage characteristic to this lens. And as I said earlier, it's very subtle. Colors are warm and deep, but don't feel forced. Sharpness is good, but far from impressive. The lens gets sharper as you stop down the aperture with it being the sharpest at around f8. The fringing or chromatic aberration clears up as you stop down but it doesn't completely go away, even at f16. So if you are looking for something sharper and faster than a kit lens, you won't be disappointed. Just don't expect it to perform as well as many of its other modern day premium equivalent. So what do I think of this Minolta 70-210mm f4 lens? Well, apart from shooting with it for this review, I've used it several other times in the past month. And I must say, comparing this lens with its modern day equivalent, the modern day equivalent will always win hands down. But that's not to say that this lens is bad. No, on the contrary, it's actually rather good. Let's put it this way. At the time of filming this review, Sony actually makes a native 70 to 200 mm f4 lens that sells for around 2,000 Singapore dollars. This Minota beer can lens only cost me 150 Singapore dollars on eBay. Even if you factor in this LAEA4 adapter that's required to adapt this Minota lens onto your Sony E mount cameras, the total cost should cost you no more than 600 Singapore dollars. So the question you have to ask yourself is this. It's a lens that costs four times more, really four times better. Till next time, see ya. One more thing before I go. The autofocus motor of this lens is noticeably loud. So if you are constantly in a situation where you need to shoot silently, you might want to consider another lens.